Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today the CAA released CAP 1763, the air navigation order for 2018 and 2019, amendments for small unmanned aircraft users. It's not all bad news, there's some good news hiding in here for us mini quad flyers, if you look hard. This document clarifies some of the changes to the UK regs for drones that were due in November 2019, but it's mainly a knee-jerk reaction to the supposed drone sightings that closed Gatwick a little while ago. There's new regs in here that come into effect on the 13th of March, and I'll put a link in the description where you can download this and read all 18 pages at your leisure. Basically, the no-fly zone around airfields has been extended to about 3 miles or 5 kilometres. It's not quite as simple as that. There's new definitions of the flight restriction zones because it extends down the centre lines of the runways. But roughly it's 3 miles. And interestingly, the 400 foot rule can be exceeded within these zones if you've got permission from air traffic control. And also, don't forget, if you have permission, you can fly outside these limits, but I suspect ATC will be very busy answering calls from commercial operators like me. But for those of us who are just recreational flyers, flying around with our mini quads, there's new regs that come into force in November 2019. You'll have to register all your quads if they're over 250 grams, and they have to have a valid registration that must be displayed at all times. And you'll have to complete an online competency test, but the full details and costs of that haven't been released yet. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. I've had a few conversations today about this 250 gram limit. Everyone I spoke to has assumed this limit was its all-up weight, and that's simply not the case. Section 94D of CAP 1763 says, now I've got it here, certain small unmanned aircraft requirement for registration as SUA operator, effective 30th of November 2019. 94D, part one. This article applies to a flight by a small unmanned aircraft only if it has a mass of 250 grams or more without its fuel, but including any articles or equipment installed in or attached to the aircraft at the commencement of the flight. Yeah, that says without fuel, which means the battery can be excluded from the 250 grams. But what it does include is any cameras like a GoPro. So if your quad weighs less than 250 grams without the battery, you don't need to register it. And many of the regs in CAP 1763 don't apply to you. Obviously, you still can't fly within the three mile exclusion zone with your tiny whoop. But what it does mean is that many of the three and four inch mini quads will be under 250 grams, even with a GoPro attached. This ViFly 150 weighs 247 grams with this 650 milliamp LiPo. But I can still put a GoPro session on it because it weighs under 250 grams without the battery. Bizarrely, it means your quad can weigh 250 grams and you could have a 500 gram or a one kilogram battery and still be legal, but it makes no sense. Anyway, there's interesting times ahead for our hobby. Please leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then subscribe to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.